Okay, I'm going to show you real quick how to make a simple material using Fair 2D Terrain. Um, from once you have everything imported, you can go to Game Object here and just say Create Terrain Material. This will give you a basic prefab uh, that you can use to fill out, and then everything else will hook into that. I'm going to drag this down to a different folder and rename this Demo Material. Okay. Now, I've created a couple of materials that I'm going to be working with here. Um, the first one here is a pipe, and if you look at this, you can see it's just, you know, basically a drawing of a pipe. Um, I've, I've drawn it with segments in mind, so I have the first part here. This is 64 pixels uh, by 128, and then I have three more segments here, 128 by 128, and again, and again, and then another 64 by 128. So when Usually, when you're designing it, when you're drawing it out, you want to keep a few numbers in mind. That way you can refer to them later when you're uh, putting it in the terrain material. Um, so over here, after that, I've attached it to a regular material, one of Unity's materials, and I've given it a shader that um, I've included with the package. Um, these are basic unlit um, shaders, but they also include vertex color. I didn't see any unlit ones with vertex color, so I wanted those in. Um, in this case, since it's transparent, just grab the, the transparent texture vertex color. If you have one of your own, that's cool too. It should work pretty well. It's not nothing real complicated in that shader. Um, so then over here in the demo material, you can see we've got an edge material and a fill material. Um, before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and add some terrain into the scene. That way I can actually see what I'm doing with my material. So here, and a decorative 2D terrain. And you can see here, demo material is the first item there. And it's pink because we don't have anything really attached to it. Okay, so go back to the material, and I'm going to drag the pipe material onto the edge here. Now you can see it just vanished from the scene, and that's just because we haven't set anything up with that yet. Um, we want to go to the top here and start assigning a couple of values so that um, we can see it in the scene. Like the first one I'm going to do here is the left cap. That's going to be this side right here. Um, it has a width of 64 and a height of 128. And you can see it highlights it down here, and you can start seeing it in the viewport over here. Okay. Um, do that again, only with the right side. This is going to be 448. And again, these numbers are just um, numbers that I picked out beforehand um, when I was drawing the material itself. Okay. So there you can see two end caps. Um, we don't have the middle end yet, and the middle part is kind of cool because you can randomly select between a couple of different segments here. We have three different segments on our material, so we need to define three different segments. So if you look at it, we have this body piece, and we've got a little bit of a control up here, maybe not the most intuitive thing, but if you check this out, I'm going to say three, so it's going to have three different body pieces. The first one, it's going to start at 64, it's going to have a width of 128, and a height of 128. And you can see there, defines it out here, and we have this. Okay, and so this is this is absolutely not behaving well because we don't have the other three, uh, the other two materials on there, the other two segments. So first one's defined, go to the next one here. This one's going to be 192, and a width of 128, and a height of 128. That's going to give us our middle segment there. Okay, and the last one will be um, 320, again, 128, and 128. Okay, and you can see there, that's behaving just fine now. And we can drag this out, and it'll randomly fill those pieces in based off of what we defined. So that's a really simple material, and with that, you can do a number of really cool things. Um, it's not the, the regular terrain material, and we can do far more complex things with it, but this is the, the basic simple material, and a quick introduction to that. Okay? Cool.